All right, I wanted to finish before everyone because I have another picture coming in today, so I want to make sure I get this out of the way and don't leave you hanging. I'm trying to figure out exactly what am I doing with this. All right, so I kind of I'm a kind of person that follows everything through to the end. So first things first, technology gain. Um, I ordered a lamp over from on eBay. Um, like I said, looked it over, matched it up with the lamp I had here. Everything looked perfect on the lamp. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. So I got a chance to strip it down, the um, lamp, the um, one I bought, because I'm not going to take it back. Uh, it's $30, so I'm not worried about losing $30, but I want to figure out exactly why this lamp is not compatible with this one when it looks so much like it. It is a name brand. Uh, of it. Keep in mind, I got these ones called OME. I think they're, they're the legit original ones. Actually, they're a little bit more expensive. These ones are a little bit, um, they are the original ones, but it's like a cheaper model of it, and they're really not that expensive. Like, I have one sitting over there, and one of the Sony's over there that I paid 50 bucks for instead of paying $800 for, or five, four or $500 for, and it works perfectly over there. So I've worked with those particular lamps before. But this one, the lamp is okay. Just there's nothing wrong with lamp. It's the molding. So the molding on whatever they use, because I had to take my saw and cut this down because I was curious to see if this would fit if I cut this down. Now, what I was going to do was do a lamp swap out. That's where you just basically just change out one lamp and connect it into a, another housing. The housing for this one fits in the projector perfectly. This is the original housing. This is the lamp. I got a chance to tear it down to see what was causing the problem. So at first, I thought maybe there was something in here, maybe a piece of plastic or whatever. This is molded wrong. They wouldn't allow it to connect in, but it is the entire connection. So somewhere in there, it doesn't allow it to connect properly. There's a problem with that connecting in there. So there is, because I'm taking this apart as we talk. So there's nothing wrong with the lamp. The lamp is perfectly fine. You can't trade one housing for another some lamps you can actually take them apart and you can actually swap them out this one you can't because the entire lamp is included in everything like all this is all attached you can't just swap it out usually they have some with the clips on the end and they have screws right there see those screws some have the screws on they screwed them in this one is actually soldered in so that's soldered in so that makes it, unless I come in and basically tear it out and resolder it, which I'm not going to do, um, that's the only way you're going to be able to swap this out. But some of them just have the screws. You just attach the screws, screw them back over in there, and just go from there. But this one, you can't do that. So I went online to take a look to see if I can find some other ones that might be able to... Uh, that might be able to, um, to uh, react. Uh, that's not react to Maybe to find some other ones. Um, but I found one that's around ninety-five dollars. That's what I'm about to buy, which is actually uh, legit. And there's another one that looks as phony as phony can be, which I'm about to show you in a few minutes. So, um, really quick. So the problem is, is that the the molding that they designed for this which is this right here. It's not connecting with the um, with the uh, um, the power supply connector there. It's not it's not connecting with it. So there's something wrong with a plastic is either a little too high or maybe there's a piece in there that could be it could be it could be hitting or connected hitting against, but it's supposed to fit without a problem. Now this is the original one and the original one because I had to slice uh, the um, the um, screws up top because it got stripped and I had to turn it to a Phillips. It should fit perfectly with no problem. You should be able to just drop it in just like this. And there you go. It should connect it in. See how it fits? It should fit perfectly with no problem. This one I had to struggle to get it in. Which means that something somewhere around in here where the housing was to connect the power supply, there was something in there that was messing up. So I cut all this off. I'm like, I guess I was going to keep this. I cut all this off with the saw, got a chance to look at it. Then I was able to pull this out and put this in with the lamp in my hand. It went in perfectly. So it's something to do with the housing.
the housing is defective and it's just not allowing it to connect in. Now, usually I would swap one lamp out for another, but you can't do it with these lamps because they're soldered. So they soldered these in. One of them is soldered in, the other one's actually with the screws. So most of them have those screws right there. We can just pull out the screws, reconnect the wires on the other side and just go from there and you're done. But nope, this one's done definitely. So gotta go order me a new lamp. This is already drying quite nicely already pretty soon that'll be good to go but i always say if you want to do a motorized projection screen because you're going to be rolling that up over and over and over again uh please let it dry for a day trash on my stairs let that dry for about a day with a fan so it's thoroughly dry all right now we're back upstairs in my junky office um i'm going to show you some interesting things you got to look out for so um when i go in I'll go back for a minute and i go to pour up the lamps you want to make sure you put in us only because you do not want your lamps coming from overseas unless you live overseas that's fantastic if you don't you know you don't want to wait 14 15 days or maybe more so these are all coming from china right here china and then we got one in there from couple other places but at the top we can see where it says I put up uh, US only so the ones I got coming in this is the one I ordered which I'm never going back there ever again for $30 this is um, another one right here this one's for the LW 400 which is the one I have downstairs and this one is the original the OM, o, oh, sorry, o, o, OEM. These are the original ones. They cost about $75, so it's still not bad. $75, and this one will fit the uh, LW400, LX400, and LW420, which is all three projectors I had downstairs. So this lamp will be compatible with all three lamps I had downstairs, all three projectors downstairs. This is what you gotta watch out for. This clearly is is a scam right here and I can tell you why when you click on this you will see these Photoshop photos right and then you'll see the lamp no I'll show you let me zoom up on this for a bit first things first if they're going to show you up a lamp they're not going to show you a picture of a projection screen and somebody sitting next to it they're not going to advertise the lamp that way no way whatsoever at all so that's right there is the first red sign. Second one, 3D. So, and that's not even the projector that basically fits that lamp. So I don't know what's going on in that picture right there. And then they're showing everybody wearing 3D with 3D glasses. Yeah, um, these projectors don't, I think one of these projectors, they do have 3D capability, but not on that level. Not where you're gonna be throwing on glasses. But yeah, so I can, know, I can tell right there, those are basically, um, those are the fakes. All right, so. I have another one just to get this tied up and get it out of the way because I am going to buy the one for 75. I'm buying this one right here. So this is the one I'm going to purchase. Now I had to check and see what economy shipping was. Economy shipping over here would be one to five days, which I'm not worried about it. Um, I, they do have the original housing, paperwork, the whole nine yards. So yeah. This is where I'm buying it from, right there. And there's the paperwork and documents, everything that comes with it. So this is what I'm going to purchase right now. Um, let me make sure you have some United States and just has the economy shipping seventy five dollars. But you got to be careful. Like the one I got, like I said, it looked it definitely just like the one that I had. This is the one I purchased right here. All the information, everything's right there. But every once in a while, like I said, it happens. Oh, economy shipping, that's why it took so long to get here. I was like, good gracious, it took forever to get here. Yeah, economy shipping. And this is where I really should have, this is where I made my mistake. It says lamp housing for the Chrissies. This is for an LW400 projector, DLP and LCD. Those projectors are not DLP projectors, they're LCD projectors. So that's where I should have looked a little carefully. But. Better I lose my money than you lose yours, you know? So that's where I made my little mistake right there. So 
interesting. This one is the original right there. There's a model number right there. I can look all that up, find out that's a model of legit. And he does have the all the information, instructions, and all that. So it cost me $75, but still a lot cheaper than some of the other places I've seen because, like I said, I keep telling you, these are high-end projectors. You're going to pay a little bit more. You're going to pay money for the lamps. You're going to pay money for those lamps. The other projector I showed you, that um, that barcode, those those lamps, cheapest one was five hundred dollars. So that's why the projector was going for two hundred fifty bucks. <coughs> People look at it and go, "Wow, two hundred fifty bucks for a barcode? Are you freaking kidding me? Like that? That's that's freaking highway robbery." I'm gonna grab that and then find out that lamp will cost you five hundred dollars to replace. So if you ever want to look up barcode, I don't think barcode or Ronco have got to be like the same freaking company down projectors because they make other things besides um uh other things besides uh projectors and these are what these projectors run for they're not cheap never heard of this company these are top of the line projectors they're not cheap they're talking about these are when you start i told you we start getting the ronco Barcode, I think I understand the barcode, if I understand it correctly. Uh, Chrissy's, these are what they call the top tier end projector setup. These things are going to put Sony's and Panasonic's and Optima's and all that to shame with no problem. These are the big boys. And these are used, these are pre owned projectors. This one doesn't even have a lamp in it. There's, there's no lens in the projector. Look at the price tag for it with no freaking lens in it. Yeah, these things cost an arm and a leg, man. Look at that right there. That's a that's a um there that's a laser. That's what a laser will run you one of those projectors. Yeah, they're not cheap. Look at that, eleven thousand dollars right there. This is right on eBay. Eighty-five, eighty-five thousand dollars. Okay, almost almost clear to um, close to uh, eighty-six thousand dollars. Let me see what this bad boy is about. I can't imagine what the lamp costs for that thing. There's the native resolution for that projector. Yeah, these are, the, these are some of the other ones. This is how these bad boys run for. I saw some people will be bragging about the JVC. It's like a JVC is a good projector, but you ever heard of Barcode? You ever heard of Ronco or any of those projectors? Yeah, those projectors, man, have put a freaking JVC to shame. Look up, because uh, I had somebody go in, and he, I was talking about the Christie projectors, and he was like, let me check this out. And he said, damn, these things cost, these things are insane. These are Christie projectors right there. That's a lens for Christy right there. This is an old Christy projector. Look at that. It's VGA. Oh, them old projectors. That's what old projectors would run for. Let me see what this one right here is all about. Four hundred. Does he have his specs up there? This is six thousand lumens. This is pretty good. This is 6,000 lumens right here. But this is an old projector. So the biggest screen you can get from here is 70 inches. That's how old, it's an old projector. Let's go look it up, all right? They want $300 for the, for the relic. Hey, Chief, how you doing? Uh, sorry, I haven't been getting back to anybody. I've been really crazy, crazy busy. Just been doing a lot of work. Let's see, projector center, projector center, anything on this thing? Yeah, I got a few of them, a few of them. I'm still looking for some of these other projectors. It's a few projectors that I want, and I don't have them yet, but I, these are just for the time being. But I do like the Christie's. I love the Christie's. Those are my favorites. Those are my favorite projectors of all time can't find that projector, which means if I can't find it on here, that projector is old. 
Oh, my time is going down too. That's an old projector. Let me go back to eBay real quick. So that's the cheap, cheapest one they got in here is the Relic. There's one for 270 right there. That's pretty old. But I'm going to pick me up another Christie. Look at that. Christie with no lamp. That comes with no lamp. And they want freaking $400 for that with no freaking lamp. I know that lamp's going to cost an arm and legs. Oh, wait, wait. Here we go. We got a Christie right here for $125. Same one I got downstairs. LS400. Somebody got one here with the remote control. Y'all better snatch that one up. That ain't going to be there long. That is not going to be there long. So that one got a remote control attached to it. Mine doesn't even have remote control, but I got the black one. Hmm. I might snatch that one today. All right. I got to get out of here. It's time for me to eat. It's Saturday. I got to finish off this other screen when the screen dries. And then I got another projector coming in today. So we got to do a demonstration on that one. Uh, we got to... Um, uh, NEC uh, VT595 coming through, so uh, we're going to have to do demonstrations on that one when that comes in. These are my portable projectors, my Sony and uh, Panasonic right there, and then we got Sony's over there, and then we're going to be working on the Christie today. So I'm going to order another lamp so I can get that projector up and going. All right, I got to go. June, you have a good one, and uh, God bless.